That's the end of that. Oh, God! Ah, oh, shit! Oh. She even has the outfit. True. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. So, John Doyle is mad that a white person died and is like, where's the outrage? That's the video we're going to watch. It's not going to be good. You're not going to like it. It's going to make you upset. That's the whole thing. Luckily, it's under 10 minutes. He didn't even want a fucking mid-roll on this one. Good. Good. Look at his manly gun. True. Today is Thursday. This presumably would have been Canon Hinnant's fourth day of kindergarten. His first day was supposed to be on Monday, but can Well, I mean, if he wouldn't have died from the gunshot, he would have died from coronavirus because you don't give a shit about kids. You just... Want a virtue signal. Uh, not sure if I'm unique, but I was familiar with the loss of appetite and other things from culture. I didn't realize that I was depressed until I found out the uh, hypersomnia and lethargy were real symptoms. Yep. John Doyle, the internet's youngest boomer. True. Anna didn't get to experience his first day of kindergarten, and he won't get to experience his first day of oh. first grade, and he won't get to go shopping with his mother for school supplies and watch regretfully as every year his list becomes filled with less colored pencils and crayons and more notebooks and binders because he actually won't get to do any of the things that we all enjoyed growing up oh, because wow. he had his life stolen by this man, Darius Sessoms, because he supposedly biked on the man's lawn by accident. And so Darius Sessoms approached five-year-old Cannon while he was playing outside with his sisters, and he executed him. He shot this five-year-old boy in the head point blank, and the media are silent. Okay, let's talk about a couple things, okay? First of all, nobody's for that. Nobody's like, ah, yes execute five-year-olds for having the audacity to ride bicycles. Nobody is a, 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 a fucking, fucking pro-executing bicycle children, except uh, uh, the creature from It. He definitely is. Um, <laughs> definitely is. I already know where this dipshit is going. They literally caught and convicted the murderer within 24 hours, right? John Doyle, oh, is trash. Yes, trash. He's just trash. Um, it, it, it's just really stupid. So let's talk about something else. Let's talk about something else real quick that John Doyle has never used um, to virtue signal the way he used uh, this virtue signal. Okay, let's, 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 try, let's check it out. Uh, oh, what is that, Sandy Hook? Okay, so I guess in 2012... Uh, there were a bunch of these. Did you know they, they also didn't get to do the things that this kid didn't get to do? Did you know? Did you know that? And did you know that maybe, maybe, um, we could have prevented these deaths by, I don't know, cur curbing um, how we allow people to obtain uh, guns and, and how we secure guns and our gun culture in general. Um, any, any of that? Mental health? At all, any, any, just literally anything, literally anything at all. No, we we only virtue signal when it happens when the, when it's a black guy that does it. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. It's just <laughs> what was this fucking kid's name? I, I already forgot this kid's name. Um, Darius Sesum's Cannon Hinnant. Okay, so um, Cannon Hinnant. Okay, so. Nobody talked about this, apparently. Nobody talked about this. All right. I'll make this bigger for you so you can read it better. Here's the Washington Post. Okay. Here's K News. I mean, <laughs> CNN. <laughs> like, what? Like, if we go to news. Variety, page six. Uh, 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 local, local places all over the place. Washington Post, again, KBTX, uh, Fox News, The Union, what, 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 I just, is it because it didn't go on, so, does he think that news equals social media? 
Does he think that that Twitter, Twitter has to be fucking up in arms about this? Is that what he thinks? Because this happened. He was charged with first degree murder, as he should be. Darius Sessoms, who was a dog shit person, killed a, killed a child. That's the, the the long and short of it. That's the end. Uh, God save my son. I mean, again, and and let's talk about this. Why, why does it have anything to do with George Floyd? It fucking doesn't. It doesn't have anything to do with George Floyd. Can story is seized upon by conservative outlets as an example of why they view it as selective outrage among the left and blah, blah. But a national reckoning over racial injustice. They pushed the claim the story was being ignored because of race. Cannon was white while Sessions was black. Police have been given no indication that race was a factor in the crime, which received coverage in national outlets, including USA Today, Fox News, and CNN, within five days of occurring. National news. Cannon's father and grandmother have said they do not believe... The killing was racially motivated. I mean, come on. Yeah, he. I mean, he. Fu- what? Look, look. What? He invited Sessoms over. Like, like they literally, they literally tried to have the grill with Sessoms, the guy that fucking killed the kid. Um, it seems like he had, he probably had addiction issues. Okay, he he served two short stints in prison in 2017. One was for felony drug possession. One other was for felony firearm and drug charges in 2017. Why are we not talking about the fact that this guy had access to firearms? Why are we not talking about how easy it is in America for this guy to have a fucking gun? Why are you talking about whether or not he's black and not about whether or not he had access to a gun? Exploiting the worst day of his family's life to own the libs. Yep. This guy's a fucking... He's such a fucking dog shit grifter. John Doyle is scum. Yeah, the, the family doesn't want this kind of shit happening, for the record. If you try to find this story online, uh, you're only going to find it from, like, local sources, a few conservative publications, maybe. But the main... What are you talking about? I just... What are you... We just read it on a non-local... Okay. Mainstream media are dead silent about the... We just read the Washington Post. The story. And one of the saddest things that I read pertaining to this story was from the cousin of the boy's mother who said, he will never be forgotten. And I believe that she believes that. I truly do. But the reality is that Cannon will be forgotten soon. I mean, some of us might make a point to remember him, but the reality is that two weeks from now, no one's going to be talking about this story. But two weeks from now, two months from now. So what John is doing is exploiting fucking tragedy porn for his own gain right now. He finds it politically expedient to do so. That's disgusting. He's gross. We will all still be talking about George Floyd. St. Floyd of Minneapolis. Two years, from, two decades from now, our children will have to memorize that name for American history exams. Yes. And it's good. Because George Floyd wasn't put down by an angry neighbor. George Floyd was put down, strangled to death, executed in the streets... By those that are supposed to be protectors and servants of our communities, but instead are militarized oppressors, mostly of minorities, but also white people. As John, a white guy who is definitely a fucking, he, if he's not a white supremacist, the dude is fucking hanging out in that circle. Hanging out. He's just trash. He's the worst fucking guy. On camera, in front of everybody, George Floyd was fucking murdered. Slowly. And he's not the first one. Eric Garner was also fucking strangled by police officers. Executed for the crime of selling a cigarette. Do you think that's big government oversight? Or do you think that citizens should be at bodily harm, like risking bodily harm, for selling a cigarette? George Floyd allegedly paid with a fucked up $20 bill or something like a, like a made up one. And they said that he was on drugs. It doesn't matter what he was on. The dude, the dude could have taken a fucking swing at an officer. A thing he did not do. He could have swung 
at the officer and punched one's fucking lights out, it does not, it does not mean that you get fucking executed by the police on the pavement. It's not a thing. This is not lawful. It's not constitutional. It doesn't matter. The only way I can justify it is if the police officers are in self-defense for their lives. Like if someone's opening fire, okay, I respect that. I would let anybody do that. I would let anybody defend their own lives. Rushed at with a knife. It's, I mean, yeah, it, it kind of makes some sense sometimes that sometimes those things will end up fatal. Sometimes, not every time, sometimes. I can understand the instinct to take out your gun and defend yourself and defend your life. Sure. But kneeling on his fucking throat? And then they're like, oh, he died from the drugs. Let's say he died from the drugs. What the police officer do while the guy said he was dying? The police officer that's supposed to protect and serve. Regardless of whether or not you think this person is a criminal, you are in charge at that point of that person's well-being. And it is your duty to make sure that they get medical care and that you don't exacerbate the issue. It's This is simple fucking stuff. And it's not even... You don't have to be like John Doyle and not give a shit about a person to understand it's not constitutional. Like, if you're just worried about what's constitutional, he didn't get access to a fair trial at all. And it's not just George Floyd. This is just the famous one. It's it's anybody. There was a white kid crawling on his hands and knees, please don't shoot me, in a hotel lobby, or hotel hallway, and he got fucking shot and murdered. Do you think I think that's any wor- better? No. That's fucked up. There was a kid that was getting out of his truck, a white kid, in the south somewhere, and they thought that uh, he, I, I don't remember why, they thought he was on like, drugs or something. They shot him to fucking death. That's not fucking okay either. It's certainly not okay for them to do a fucking drive-by on Tamir Rice. Like, how are you okay with this shit? From a constitutional perspective, not even an ethical perspective, not a human rights perspective, not like a fucking empathy perspective, literally just the Constitution. Because I know John doesn't give a fuck about ethics. I know he doesn't give a fuck about human rights. He clearly doesn't give a fuck about human rights. He's a dog shit person. He just made fun of George Floyd two seconds ago, who was a man who died at the hands of militarized big government fucking police. That's not okay. I agree. I agree, Toyn. Philando Castile got murdered for taking out his wallet while in his car and, and being a registered gun owner. The police gave Dylan Roof a bulletproof vest. Yep. Didn't they take him to Burger King too? And we know why that is, but to the average person that might seem a bit strange, but they probably won't question it because people are not actually individuals. That's my favorite shit lib assumption. We all know some liberal whose entire personality is just, um, excuse me, are you registered to vote? Um, are you registered? Oh, if only more people voted. If only more people, then everything would be fine. The problem isn't more democracy, it's it's less democracy. We really need all the people who haven't been interested or intelligence enough to take two minutes to register to vote. We really need them calling the shots. He just fucking outed himself again. He just fucking outed himself again. Does he think that he's one of like the, the so- Socrates philosopher kings or something? Or is that Aristotle? I think it's Aristotle. Like, is that, is that what he thinks he is? Does he think he's... Do you think he's one of the elite thinkers? I bet he fucking does. The dude's fucking solipsistic as fuck. What an idiot. God. It's it's incredible that people like this can have so much fucking confidence in themselves. There's no reason, there's no reason that John Doyle should have self-confidence. <laughs> None whatsoever. I'm turning on this AC. Fuck you guys. Okay? Just, just, you know what? I'm getting hot in here. Oh, yeah. You live in a country where teenage white nationalist is treated better than a person telling you his license for carrying a gun. Yeah. Yes. The video is not sped up. I haven't sped up the video. It's at normal. All this wants me to make all these McDonald's cups. Oh, I just repurpose McDonald's cups. I clean them out and use them to drink other stuff. 
Sarah gets chicken nugs, and I'll usually get like a Diet Coke when she when I order for her. I don't really eat McDonald's very often. Yeah, but I like to, I like the you know the, the like dollar Diet Cokes. No, um, but no, I made like a um, side sidebar sidebar chat. I used to live in Boise, Idaho, and they have um, in the west, the northwest there, they have these little coffee shops, and some of you may know about these, called Human Beans. It's a chain of like um, little drive through coffee shops. You can drive on either side of it and get um, things. So anyway, when I used to live in um, um, Boise, um, and I, I'm not a coffee drinker, um, but I do enjoy caffeine, and I do enjoy energy drinks. Um, they had um, uh, huckleberries are very big in the northwest. Uh, that's where they grow is in the mountainous northwest. And um, so huckleberry flavored things are, are, are um, I don't even know if it's popular. It's kind of just like, uh, you know, part of their gimmick. Um, yeah, you should go to a coffee or a human bee. They're nice. Um, but anyway, uh, Boise itself is pretty nice. It's just very, very white. But um, um, I actually tracked down the flavoring they used. And so the thing I was sipping on at the very beginning of the stream was a rock star huckleberry. Um, that I have nostalgia for, and I drink, I don't know, every once in a while. So, yeah. That's, that's what I was doing. That's what I use those for, usually. Or I'll make, like, a, or I'll put, like, a water in. I don't know, I like, I like sipping stuff out of a, of a straw more. But I don't really like, like, the permanent per plastic straws. I don't know. Anyway. Keep going! On fucking John Doyle. Most people do not think about things. Most people do not have agency. They do not possess the internal monologue. They basically respond to stimuli and group conformity and then default to pursuing food, sex, and leisure. He doesn't think that most people have fucking... <laughs> no wonder he doesn't have any fucking empathy, dude. No wonder. He doesn't think people have internal monologues. Or senses of self. He sees people as like fucking brains and vats. Wow. Wow. And the reason I bring this up is because the fact that there is not national outrage about this in isolation, let's not even compare it to George Floyd for a second. The fact that this in itself is not getting people demanding media coverage for this story, it vindicates so much about what we talk about. It doesn't. It doesn't do that. National st stories of white kids getting killed have been national stories forever. I know he's a little young, but John Benet Ramsey died, and it took like five years for that not to be news. I didn't even know. Some of you are way too young for this shit. I was a little kid when John Benet Ramsey was a thing. It was a little, uh, a little kid that um, her parents probably killed her, or her dad, or something. I don't know. That's the that's the that's the popular theory. Anyway, she was like a uh, she was like a beauty pageant kid, a little white kid. And she died. She got killed by somebody. I think bludgeoned to death or some shit. That doesn't really matter. It really fucking doesn't matter. I'll show you. I'll show you. John Benet Ramsey. Wait, allow. John Benet Ramsey. A child. This kid. Her first name was Jean Benet. Um, but yeah. Who's this kid? News for fucking ever. It was just news the whole time. For, for, for so long. It happens all the time. It's, it's not new. There was, um, there was, uh, oh, fuck. Well, I forget her name now. But the kid that went missing forever, um, she was, uh, again, a little white girl. Um, she went missing for a long time. And then they found her again. There's Madeline McCann, who they didn't, they didn't find Madeline McCann. Ah, uh, ah, uh, smart. Elizabeth Smart. See what I'm saying? You still remember these fucking names. You still remember these names. This this happens all the time. This is... But the thing is here, there's nothing to sensationalize. It's not... The reason is not because no one is mad about the fact that this douchebag, this fucking monster, killed a child. There's no mystery involved. It's not sexy... Like the George Floyd story, and that's why it got blown up. Because it's sexy. It's fucked up, but that's how the news works. He got choked out on camera in front of everybody. If there was video of this, it would have made national news. That's the difference. It's not a race thing. It's because we are fucked up. The way social media works, and the way it all... There's no virality to this. 
They knew what happened. He shot the kid. It's fucked up. They found him. He's in jail. That's the end of it. That's the whole thing. Thinking any deeper into this and thinking that there's some sort of fucking race issue going on here is just fucking... You're blind. You're just blind. Like, if a five-year-old white boy can be executed in his front lawn in front of his sisters, and the media won't cover it because the murderer was a black man, and as a result, no one... That's not why it wasn't covered. It was covered. It just didn't gain media traction because there's nothing to fucking go viral about it. Again, to sell this to anybody. Like, think of it... This is fucked up, but think of it like a story, like a book that you're reading, right? If, 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 you, if you picked up a book and the first page was, this is a mystery about Kyle, a five-year-old who got shot by a man. The end. Like, you'd be disappointed. It's not a story. It's not a good story. It's just, there's nothing to sell there. It's just tragedy. It's just sad. There isn't this other component of being able to watch it. There isn't this component of... He, he screamed, fuck Whitey, and then shot the kid. He didn't do that. He's just a fucking bad person. He's just an, a monster that killed a child. That's not newsworthy. It's just the state of things. I'm sorry that that's the case. No one is on this guy's team. I don't even think that... What's that guy that they used to call Black Hitler on, on, on YouTube? I don't even think he's on this guy's team. No one thinks that white kids need to be shot for riding their bikes, dude. No one wants to live in that society. Nobody at all. He's just a fucking loser race baiter. That's all John is. No one in this country cares? How do you ever expect to gain any ground? I mean, we have no cultural power in this country, but conservatives think that we're winning because, oh, Trump's in office, and the other day he totally owned this stupid liberal reporter. Cry more leftists. Hold, hold on, let me drink some leftist tears. Would you like to know what that is? That is a cope of astronomical proportions. They are so overwhelmingly in charge of the narratives in this country, and as a result, what everyone thinks in this country, that a case like this is completely ignored, specifically because it was a black man murdering a young white boy, a child. And so when the si Again, not the case. The silent majority disappears as our older generations leave us, and the generations replacing them are being indoctrinated by these narratives from infancy throughout their lives, and they're now the majority of the electorate. What then? Of course, he calls that he calls that uh, uh, indoctrination, but not like religion that he is very much a part of. The guy's a fucking he, he's he's such a dumb he's so dumb. I debated John before. I don't know if you've seen it. I debated John before, and he is not impressive. And then he blocked me after. Yeah, it's over. Then we will have the ultimate illusion of choice. You know, sure, we're all going to get to cast our vote because everyone's voice counts and, and we all get to pick. Yeah, I did on stream. Yeah, I destroyed him. And then he, and then he, I, okay, bodied him. And then he blocked me. Where we get our information from because it's a citizen's duty to be informed, but it won't matter. It will be a one-party state. You will have the democratic socialists and you will have the liberal. It's on YouTube, yeah. It's on, is it on, is it on my YouTube or is it on the Hannah and Jake YouTube chat? Somebody find a link and just put it in chat. Republicans who will appear to be right wing by comparison. What a Weasley fucking liar, dude. <laughs> the point is that winning elections isn't enough. We have to actually take control of the culture. It is the only way. Otherwise, our window to win elections is only going to be open for about 10 more years. If a story is unbelievably evil and shocking as this can't get covered because to do so would jeopardize the narrative, you can forget just begging for diversity of- What do you mean? Dude, when did he make this? August 13th? It's August 21st. It's only been seven days, and I found tons of national media coverage. Tons of it. We just looked it up. Thought because they And I've had this and I've had this video for three days. I don't care. And they probably would have cared at least So this is it right here. Oh uh, yeah. Hey everybody, today we are debating. My lighting is fucking awful here. That's okay. Yeah, but uh, he doesn't do very well here. Yeah. So, uh, there you go. Then he blocked me. What a bitch. At least a little. Doiling our jaws. A little bit. God if the man. murderer were a white guy, like, hey, look at this. What does he mean by take control of the culture? He means that 
Well, because he's he's a he's a authoritarian conservative. So by things he wants to take control of the culture are like stop being stop having um, the equality messages of the LGBT movement, for instance, um, being normalized. He doesn't want people to think that it's normal to not be straight, cis, uh, uh, white, etc. Um, uh, no no uh, racial equity. Um, absolutely um, no forms of like social safety nets. Um, uh, Blue Lives Matter. I mean, like, think of all the bad stuff. He's literally like that. He's literally that. The Paul... Fr so so you showed up and, and just put your fucking... You showed up... And you put your fucking... You put your fucking own Twitch thing here? No one... No one fucking likes you. Get the fuck out of here, idiot. I hate that shit. If you want to be... Here's a fucking... Here's a fucking tip. Here's a fucking tip, okay? If you have if you have a Twitch channel, okay? If you have a fucking Twitch channel and you want and you want other people to check you out, talk. Don't fucking come into other people's chats and spam your bullshit. No one gives a shit about you. Nobody cares about you. How is that a reasonable way to grow an audience? That's not it's just douchebag behavior. That's douchebag behavior. Come in here and and be part of the community. Be part of other people's communities. You are not owed a view. You are not owed a subscriber. All of those things are privileges. I am privileged enough to be talking to almost 300 people almost every night who, who want to have that subscription because they feel like they're part of a community. And they are part of a community. They don't just feel like it. They fuck it. We are a community. If you want to be part of that community, great. Don't come in here with that fucking bullshit, though. It's not a farm for, for you to fucking, like, like, take people's money. This is not the case. And you're certainly not going to come in here and, and fucking be a predatory towards my fans. Fuck that shit. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I can't stand that shit. Can't stand that shit. I don't know if you... I, the reason that rant happened is because there was a dude that fucking... If you weren't watching chat, dude fucking dropped his own link in here. Ugh. Awful. Look, this was really sad, and then people would be like, wow, white people are the worst? What else is new? But to even acknowledge that black people do things like this, just like white people, and actually even more than white people, oh, would boy. undermine the narrative that black people are the eternal victims in society at the hands of white people who are the eternal oppressors. <sighs> There's no reason to explain to John the systemic reasons behind anything he just said. But, uh, yeah, he just basically 1350 That's what this is about. This is about preserving the Black Lives Matter narrative. This is about keeping the spotlight and national conversation on George Floyd. It isn't. It isn't. It's a bad news story. That's why. How do I get the Discord link? There it is. But let's compare these cases. I think it's fair to say that things can be tragic and, and things can be more tragic than other things, and particularly with deaths. I think a lot of that is weighted on who the person is, what their character was like, and also the circumstances surrounding their death. And so with George Floyd, we're told by the supposedly reasonable people that, you know, even if he's not the angel that he's being purported to be, the circumstances of the death are still tragic. It's like, okay, were they more tragic than being executed at point blank range in front of your sisters at five years old? So now it's a... Now it's Oppression Olympics, John? Weird. Now it's Tragedy Olympics? Oh, is it more? No, did it... But did George happen first? Yes. And does it matter more? Yes. Why does it matter more? Because it points to, it highlights, in gruesome detail, the systemic inequality here. There is not a systemic black dudes who are angry, walking around on their lawns, shooting five-year-olds on bikes problem. That's not a thing. Uh, no one supports that guy, though. Everybody is against that guy. But it has no deeper systemic thing going on. In unless you count the fact that he still had a fucking gun after being a felon. And now John would say, well, okay. Well, he got that gun illegally. Sure, he probably did. Did you know it's because there's a ridiculous gun culture in America that you refuse to address, making it easier for those that shouldn't have guns to have them? Well, he would have gotten it anyway. How do you know? How do you know? If, if, 
Do you think this happens? Do you think that this child dies if the man who fucking killed the child, who went to prison for drugs, for guns, for violence in the past, do you think he would have gone to drugs, violence, crime, etc. if he had access to health care, including mental health care, including um, 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 shelter, including food, including, and I know he had a home, but all of these things, a lot of poverty happens. Do you think if he had access to education growing up, do you think that maybe that would happen? Do you think if he had a system that didn't fetishize gun usage, that didn't, didn't feed into the toxic behavior that we associate men with? Do you think that if we had a system that leftists agree with, that leftists fight for, do you think that the, the odds of him killing that child would be higher, lower, or the same? And I've got to be honest with you. All studies show it would be lower. Could we prevent it 100%? No. Can you? No. We're not looking for utopia here, man. What we're looking for is to make everybody have a little bit better to a lot of it better of an experience. Minimum experience. You still get to have your millionaires. You probably don't get to have your billionaires. You still get to have excesses. You still get to have PlayStations and... and and pizza and, 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 and donuts and all the stuff you don't need. And you still get to have a lot of freedom. Frankly, you get more freedom. Are you more or less free if, you're, if your health isn't tied directly to your money? You're more. You're more free. Are you more or less free under a system that doesn't have militarized police? You're more free. That's a fact. It's about liberty. Are you more or less free if you can do whatever you want to your own body? More. saying <sighs> he's just he's just wrong about everything always always every time no no they weren't but what about the people okay well one was a perfectly happy wonderful five-year-old boy who probably would avoid stepping on a ladybug if it were in his path and the other was a middle-aged degenerate drug-addicted criminal who robbed pregnant women at gunpoint and elected to point the weapon at their in utero child and who also starred in amateur pornography now oh come on why he started oh I, I, I by the way by the way he's very 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 anti-porn what are we not seeing what is here that we can't see i haven't seen this i didn't watch the porn what is this is does he have a, a chest dick i don't understand this it's just an arm i don't really i don't really know what's going on here John definitely wouldn't have that much arm hair without taking testosterone supplements. God damn it. Not the... Maybe it's a toy? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's the name of the porn site? Oh, true. Could be. I didn't think about that. I guess I thought it was a black bar for, like, peepees. But, like... Yeah, it turns out he fucked and it was on camera. Who cares? You ever fuck John? Probably not. Judging by the national outrage, judging by the cities that were burned, you would think... You would think that George Floyd's death was more tragic, but after breaking a The lady wasn't pregnant and served time and was trying his hardest to improve. Wait. Wait, what? Can't you say chest dick? <laughs> the lady wasn't pregnant and served his time and was trying his hardest to improve his... Oh, the lady wasn't pregnant? Nice. That was someone else? Oh, okay. Okay, well, there you go. Down, I think it's safe to say that Cannon Hinnon's death is more of a tragedy than George Floyd's death. So what if, what if, what if I could, God, these eyeballs, hilarious. Uh, what if I, uh, what if, uh, I can't, I, okay, I have to, I have to, uh, okay, we're just going to go to this screen. I can't look at him. So what if, what if this kid, what if this kid he thinks is so great grew up to be, I don't know, the same exact person as George Floyd, but white? Would he be like, oh, it's such a tragedy? <laughs> Come on. Come on, bro. It's just, it's, I just can't. I just can't. You just, you just like going like, ah, he was a child. I bet John thinks Floyd's death was only three-fifths as tragic. Good call, baby bird. Black Rabbit, thanks for gifting two tier one subs to the community. Uh, Bleak Anomaly and, and Gimpy. Wow. Call, baby. Wow. Call. Uh, 
Cannon Hinnant is more of a tragedy than George Floyd. Cannon Hinnant is more of a tragedy than George Floyd. Send me an email if you want to see my math. They painted murals and leveled cities for George Floyd, gave his family $15 million. Cry, John. And they can't even give Cannon Hinnant a 500 word eulogy? Cry. Oh, he's going to cut you down. He's going to cut you down. These people are evil. They don't view human life as universally valuable. They don't even view children that way. Look at their attitudes towards them. You just said that you don't think that most human people have an inner monologue and shouldn't be allowed to vote. How can you possibly claim that you think that human life is valuable across the board, you fucking fool? Jesus Christ abortion or even infanticide with the more honest ones the way that they regard life is of conditional value and maybe with abortion they'll employ arbitrary metrics like sentience or valuability but it just so happens that in this particular case the conditions that have to be met are whether that person is useful to the narrative okay we've gone over this before it doesn't matter if it's useful to the narrative it just wasn't a good story it just wasn't a good story dude wow let's see they made they made eight hundred thousand dollars out of this, and I'm sad. The 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 what I like about this is that they were just like, okay, funerals and memorials, okay, blah blah blah. Hopefully, this is actually Gwen Hinnon. Okay, so it seems to be, uh, it seems to be the actual like family. So I guess that's good. With permission from both parents, I'm Cannon's grandmother. Okay, that's good. So hopefully, that's fine. And again, it is sad, but the problem is, these people. Are just John Doyle's just giving money, and I'm glad that they're gonna make some money off of this. Um, it's not gonna help. It's not gonna replace their son. Um, um, I, I think this is kind of this is fucking dystopian as shit. If you ask me, like, oh, your kid dies, but you made almost a million dollars because of it. Isn't that nice? <laughs> like, like it's fucking. It's overall sad. If you feel the need to donate, I have no problem with you donating to this. This is, you know, it's a sad story and it's whatever. It has nothing to do with that, though, because it's not, that's not the point. John is editorializing this to, for, for race purposes. Instead of just going, hey, look at this, like, you could literally just go, look at this sad thing. I think this deserves more media coverage. And it makes me sad, and I would like it if you supported the, the family in this, in this trying time. That's, that's reasonable. That's fucking reasonable. I get it. I would be inclined to help. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I already did, Evotion. But, yeah, he's fetishizing a dead child. I mean, yeah, obviously. Hayton, thanks for uh, following. It's it's just, it's just he's just a fucking, he's... You have a fear of corn and you're making it worse? Then why'd you follow, bro? It's the whole, everything's corn. If you have a fear of corn, this is exposure therapy right now. This is goddamn exposure therapy. Yeah, there's just no way. There's just no way that uh, that John here is being a reasonable person. And this five-year-old boy wasn't, so who cares about him? And his death actually even harms the narrative because it suggests that black people aren't just always the victims and that sometimes they actually do pretty evil things. And so this... Black Lives Matter literally talks about this all the time. They literally talk about the toxic behavior within the black community that needs to be addressed. It's part of the discussion, John, if you wouldn't shut your fucking ears to it. God. This story had to be completely swept under the rug. This was not a coincidence. These people communicate. They have editorial meetings and they have official decisions to blacklist <coughs> categorically stories like this because reporting on them and providing truth to the American people would undermine their manufactured narrative. So when they say black lives matter, uh, they don't just mean that black lives matter. Like, of course, black lives matter. No one disputes that. You fucking literally disputed that when you tried to undermine how valuable George Floyd's life was because you think that he did druggies and had his ding dong sucked on on, on, on camera, which makes him less valuable. You literally did undermine the value of a black life in this video. It's only nine minutes long, and you've managed to be a hypocrite three or four different times. It's fucking incredible. It's genuinely impressive how often John is just flat disagreeing with himself, let alone all of us. What they really mean is that black lives matter because they are black. White lives don't matter simply because they are white. And yes, they do. 
White lives matter simply because they're life. Black lives matter simply because of their life. It's not, it doesn't mean black lives matter because black. It means black lives matter irrespective of being black. It, d- Stop tying value to race. That's the point. What? Oof. And unless they can be used to propel the narrative, they don't matter at all. That's the message. That's the most tragic thing about this whole thing. That Canon Hinnant doesn't get to be remembered, he won't get a mural, because he is white and because his death is inconvenient to the current narratives. His family's making a million dollars! Paint murals! Go ahead! You can- It's fine to be sad about this! It's okay! It just isn't a sexy national news story! It just isn't! This shit happens all the time! Every day! (laughs) Shit like this happens! In this case, it just happened to be a black guy that killed a white kid! The black guy's a fucking monster! It doesn't mean other black people are monsters! You fucking racist! Jesus! And I've been very careful here because, you know, I don't want people to take what I'm saying in a negative or a hateful way because it's not intended to be that way. But I have to ask, how is your day going to change today because of this? Like, how much longer are we going to read about things like this and just go, hmm, that's a shame, and then do nothing about it? What do you want to do about it? Tell me what your fucking plan is to do something about this. What's the plan? Where's our outrage? Why don't we flood the streets surrounding the headquarters of these propagandists and demand that they submit to our narrative? Then do it. Which used to go by simply the truth. But But you don't believe in the truth. You're literally a Christian. What? But I'm not advocating for anything like that. I would never encourage unlicensed demonstrations because not only could that get me kicked off YouTube, it's just it's just plain wrong. Yeah. Un <laughs> Imagine imagine simping for licensing your First Amendment rights, but being against gun licenses for your Second Amendment rights. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Wowzers. You know, if this were Black Lives Matter, they'd probably walk into the offices of the places suppressing this story and wreak havoc. But again, we're not them. We don't want to be like them. We don't want to be off-putting. We don't want to be destructive. We don't want to be effective. So don't do that. It's all a joke. I disavow that. But what you can do is you can donate to the family. There uh, were a few fake GoFundMe set up initially, but this is the one that's real um, as confirmed by all the local news outlets covering the story. So as of right now, it's raised about $132,000 for the family. And of course, it's 800000 Of course, money will never replace the child, but what it will do, even ignoring that money... How long until Doyle is caught, caught blowing male prostitutes? You don't get a prostitute so you can suck their dick, Evotion. God, you're such a bottom. Evotion, you even... You get prostitutes just to suck their dick? Your, your bottom energy doesn't cease. Jesus Christ. This kid literally uses Nazi dog whistles like disavowing. Oh, yeah. is always helpful for a family with children to feed um, is that it will show them that there are people out there who are there for them. And if George Floyd's family can get $15 million, then they should be able to get some money as well, which will hopefully make this time a little bit easier for them. So please go donate to them. I donated $2,500 earlier. What if your mouth is lonely? today and i don't say that to be like oh look at me how come I- hey wait 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 a second wait a second wait a second how come i've never made any money anytime i've got blown what the fuck am i doing this wrong should i charge for the pleasure to do so is that what it is hey you gotta be a tier three sub 25 minimum huh John Doyle gave 2500 bucks because he lives at home. Yeah, look how virtuous I am. But I say that because you all know I don't make a lot of money doing YouTube. YouTube kind of doesn't like me, but it's still important that we prioritize what we're spending our money on. And I know that times are hard right now with the shutdown. So if you can't afford it, obviously, you should prioritize the necessities of your family and yourself. But please, if you can, uh, donate to his family. I'll put the link in the description and in the comments so you can, you know, donate. But uh, 
This is a perfect example of a, an American family who is in need, and they're going through an extraordinarily hard time right now, something that hopefully none of us will. Crimson Eleven, did you say you'll consider it? Are you soliciting me right now on twitch.tv? Anyway, fuck John Doyle. I'll consider it. I gave you 25 bucks. I've earned the right to your ding dong.